¿Aló me escuchan? Buenas noches, ¿me escuchan? Hello, good evening. Yes, teacher. Good okay, teacher. good evening. Yes, I was checking because uh, it was a message over there that my microphone was not working, but I think everything is okay. How are you? How are you, Mr. Rafael, Ms. Ms. Tania, Soraya? How are you? Are you I'm doing? fine. Thank you, teacher. Fine, very good. I'm glad to hear that. Tania, how are you? How was your day? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for asking. I'm doing fine because it was my day off. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, very good. And where do you work? I'm working at home for a, for a call center. Ah, for a call center. So you already know English or is it in Spanish? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to improve my English level, you know, to grow up. Okay, perfect, perfect. That That's great. And Soraya, are you there, Soraya? Fine, teacher. And you? Fine. Thank you for asking. Okay. Is it raining there where you are? Sorry? It's not raining? It's not raining, Soraya? Yes. Yes, it's raining. Okay. So probably you will have a, a good connection for this class. And Isaac Munguia, right, is here. Thank you for coming, Isaac. Thank you for your effort and your commitment. Gracias por venir. This is the, uh, the end of the last, uh, sorry, this is the end of the first week, right? Have you completed the platform? ¿Ya completaron la plataforma? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, uh, Me falta un poco, pero ya casi. Un poco. Buenas noches. Good evening. Okay, un este, poco, okay. Ayer tuve que desconectarme porque no tenía buena señal, pero acá estamos. Okay, thank you very much for uh, being here. Now, uh, recuerden que tienen que completarla hoy, antes de las 12, para que quede completado la sección 1 y la sección 2, ¿verdad? Entonces, si no la han completado, tienen alguna duda, la podemos resolver en este momento durante la clase y en la clase pues nada más vamos a repasar este lo que estudiamos ayer. Eh, ya hablamos bastante de la voz pasiva, ahora vamos a hablar del past continuous and simple past. So let me share here the information. Okay, we have here the past continuous versus simple past. What do we use it for? Para que lo ocupamos, el past continuous versus simple past. Why do we combine it in which situation? Eh, un, al, algo que, que estamos haciendo y fue interrumpido por, por otra acción. Exactly. While well, we were doing something and then we got interrupted, right? So normally we use uh, these two sentences or these two tenses uh, to describe something that happened in the past, right? Like if we're saying something, we are telling a story to a friend or we are talking about something that happened in the past. Okay, so that's how we use the past continuous with the simple past. It's different, ¿verdad? Podemos ocuparlos individualmente. But if we use it in a sentence or um, in two sentences combined, now uh, that's the situation what we use it for. So that will be the past continuous. And these were some examples, right? Like, for example, I was taking a shower when my cell phone rang. While Maria was walking home, she found $50. I was driving to work, but I got a flat tire, etc. right? And you have to give me like three sentences. Um, like for example, like these ones, like the ones that we have here, at least give me one if you uh, completed the three of the sentences. So I will be able to, to check if it is correct or not. Okay, uh, who did the sentences? Who did the sentence combining the past continuous with the simple past? Mm -hmm. 
Me, teacher. Okay, Tanya. Okay, tell me the first sentence. Okay, two years ago, mm -hmm. I was running to say something to my mom. Two years ago, I was running? I was running to say something to my mom. Okay, and then what happened? When I fell down, fell down. When I fell down, very good. Very good. Two years ago, I was running to say something to my mom when I fell down. Okay, very good. It's correct. Grammatically, it's correct. Very good. Uh, when we use uh, two years ago, for example, it probably it, it, it might mean that you have a very good memory, right? Because you remember exactly that two years ago, you were running to say something to your mother when you fell down. But it's okay. Very good. Perfect. Do you have another uh, example or that's it? I only later explain a little bit what was the context. Okay. I remember that that morning was raining a lot. Mm -hmm. That's why the chair was smooth. Okay, and that's how you fell. Yes. And did you hurt? Did you hurt your, yourself? Yes. Yes. What part of your body did you hit? My leg. Your leg. Okay, perfect. So that's. That's true. That's for real. Okay, very good. That's why you cannot forget. <laughs> That's why you cannot forget. Very good. Perfect. Perfect example. Thank you, Tanya. Um, do we have another volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Soraya, go ahead. I was doing the laundry when it started to rain. Okay, I was doing the laundry. When, when it when it, it started, started to, to rain to rain okay perfect perfect very good i was doing the laundry when it started to rain perfect perfect sentence uh do we have another volunteer me okay rafael go ahead while i was driving i listened i listened to music while I was driving, I listened to music. Okay, very good. While I was driving, I listened to music. Mientras estaba conduciendo, escuché, eh, escuché música. I was listening, uh, I listened to music, right? When something happened, probably. Grammatically, it's correct, but we are going to learn how to add like more words to this kind of uh, sentences, but it's okay, perfect. And do we have another volunteer? Again, Mas? No, no more volunteers? Okay, anyway, we are going to practice, okay? Try to participate if you didn't do the homework because we will try to practice it right now. Now, uh, this is the present continuous. This is like a very short exercise. And uh, for example, I was watching a really good movie, but I fell asleep before the end, right? That can happen, right? That is a sentence when we can use the present perfect continuous and also the, sorry, the past continuous with the simple past. So um, I was talking to my friend when my cell phone died. Le estaba hablando a mi amigo cuando se murió mi celular. I was traveling in another country when I met an old school friend. I was getting off a bus when I slept and I fell on the sidewalk. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. I was typing my book report on my computer when it crashed. And the last one, while I was walking down the street, I found some money. So those are examples when we can use this kind of sentences, right? When something was happening, then something interrupted the action that I was doing. For example, my brother, we have here the first one, my brother snowboard when he break his leg in several places. 
How can we correct this sentence? ¿Cómo la podemos corregir? ¿Cómo sería la oración correcta utilizando los dos tiempos? My brother snowboard when he break his leg in several places. My brother. Mm -hmm. My brother uh, was snowboarding. Very good. My brother was snowboarding. When he, he broke his leg. When he broke his leg, right? Leg. Very good. So this one, this is the action that he was doing. My brother was snowboarding when he broke his leg in several places. Very good. Next one. Several years ago, I have problems with math. So I find a tutor to help me. How can we fix it? Several years ago, I have problems with math, so I find a tutor to help me. I was having problems with math, so I found. Okay, perfect. I was having problems with math, so I found, right? The past of find is found. Perfect. I was having problems and then found. Perfect. Number three, the couple have their first child while they live in a tiny apartment. The couple have their first child while they live in a tiny apartment. What is the correct one? The couple, the couple had or was having? The couple have. Very good, the couple had, very good. The couple had their first child while they were living in a tiny apartment. Very good, perfect. You see, it's not always the same order, right? It depends on the action that was interrupted. While I drive in Ireland a few, a few years ago, I realized I was on the wrong side of the road. How can we change the sentence to correct it? While I was driving. Driving, perfect. While I was driving in Ireland a few years ago, I, what is the past of realize? Realized. Realized, exactly, realized. And that's it, right? We finish the exercise. This is just to practice this kind of tenses, right? Tenses, sorry. So uh, these are the, the sentences. Completed and corrected. Perfect. Now, this is uh, just for you to remember, right? The past continues. I'm going to send you today this or tomorrow, probably, if I don't have if I don't have enough time. I will do it tomorrow. I will send you all this presentation so you can have it and you will be able to review it if you want to and check um, the formulas, right? This is the formula for the past continuous subject plus was where plus the verb in ing plus complement, right? I was watching my favorite show. She was making, she was walking home. He was cooking dinner. And the simple past, subject plus past verb plus complement. The power went out. She saw her best friend. He ran out of gas. And now combine, right? Past continuous versus simple past. Uh, while I was watching my favorite show, the power went out. She was walking home when she saw her best friend, right? And we can use this kind of uh, words also, when, but, while, right? When we use it with simple past, also but. 
but while we use it with the past continuous, while with the past continuous. When con el pasado simple y también but, pero while lo usamos con el pasado continuo. Okay, that's it. Also, we have other words. This is in the platform also. This is that in la plataforma también. Este, when we are saying a story like uh, Tanya was doing, like she was running to tell something to her mom and then she fell uh, down, then we can use accidentally, fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, and unfortunately. What are those words? ¿Cuál es, qué, qué, tipo, ¿Qué tipo de palabras son esas? Superlative. Superlatives? Yes. No, no, they are not superlatives. They are adverbs, right? Adverbs, adverbios. Ellos son adverbios. And they help us to uh, tell a story like with more, um, more detail, let's say. For example, we can use coincidentally, right? Use when two things that have a connection happen in the same way or at the same time by chance. I was going to call her when coincidentally she called me. And as you can see, we, we place a comma and then another comma. Miraculously, milagrosamente, verdad? Use when something that seems impossible or difficult happens. A criminal shot Alejandro in the head. Miraculously, he survived. Luckily or fortunately, these are synonyms. Estos son como sinónimos. Use when something good happens by chance or luck. I didn't do homework. Fortunately, the teacher forgot about it. Luckily, I ate at home because the food at the party was terrible. Suddenly, de repente, that suddenly. Used when something happens quickly and by surprise. I was in a taxi on my way home when suddenly another car hit us. Next one, sadly or unfortunately, used when something bad happens. I studied a lot for the final test. Unfortunately, I didn't pass. I bought tickets to Bad Bunny's concert. Sadly, it got canceled. We have others like strangely, surprisingly, and unexpectedly, used when something unusual or not common happens. I was walking down the street when surprisingly, I saw a celebrity. She was washing a shirt when unexpectedly, she found money in it. And the last one, strangely, nobody did anything when the two boys were fighting. Okay, questions about this? Preguntas, questions about the adverbs in sentence? No questions. Everything's clear, right? Perfect. Okay, we are going to continue. Now we are going to practice just to check the a conversation where people are catching up on news. Pay attention to the use of present perfect continuous in context. Now we are going to study uh, something else, uh, the present perfect continuous. I need two volunteers to practice the conversation. Alguien que no haya participado en clase, por favor. Two volunteers, dos voluntarios. Are you able to see the conversation? Yes, right? I yes, need to, okay, I need two volunteers to practice it. If it's between Steve and Luisa. Maybe me, teacher. Okay, so Veda, very good, thank you. And choose another classmate, please, to help you. Okay, wait. Yeah, Who? maybe. Who? Who Tanya? did you choose? Tanya. Yes. 
Okay, Tanya. Okay, so, so Beida, you will begin. And then Tanya will continue with the conversation, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. I guess so. Okay. Hey, Tanya, haven't seen you in age. What have you been to this lady? I haven't been going out much. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's ex exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I only been spending money. I've been trying to become an actor. I've been taking course and going to a lot of auditions. Really? How long have you been trying? Since I graduate, but I haven't had and look at it. No one recon recognize my talent. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now, um, do you have any question about this conversation? Nuevas palabras, new words? No new words, everything was understandable. The name of the city is correct with the pronunciation Morocco. I am not very sure. Morocco, yes, it's Morocco. What is the meaning of okay. Morocco in Spanish? What city is that one? Marrecos. I think that is Marrecos. Marrecos, very good, Marrecos, Morocco, right? I'm going to uh, read it and then we are going to have another, uh, other two volunteers. Now, just to check the pronunciation, it says, hey, Luisa, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? I haven't been going out much. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I've been trying to become an actor. I've been taking courses and going to a lot of auditions. Really? How long have you been trying? Since I graduated, but I haven't had any luck yet. No one recognizes my talent. So uh, we don't say money. We said money, right? Money. We don't say um, auditions, we say auditions, right? Auditions and this one, sins and luck, right? Luck, very good. So, but the rest was really good because you were really fluent. Now I need to hear other two people, please. Otros dos voluntarios, por favor. Ana. Ana, okay. Ana, choose one of your classmates, please. Who haven't participated yet? Okay, Ana, escoja alguien más para Ana. que participe con usted. <laughs> 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 Waiting, right? Yes. Um, permita. Okay. Um, Elena. Elena, are you there, Elena? Um, yes, teacher. Okay, Elena, she wants to practice the conversation with you. So, uh, Anna, you will be Steve and Elena Luisa. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, Lisa. I haven't... I haven't seen you eat a H. What have you been doing lately? I haven't been going out much. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's uh, exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? 
Well, I've only been spending money. I've been trying to become an actor. I've been taking courses and going to a lot of auditions. Really? How long have you been trying? Since I graduated, but I haven't had an, any look yet. No one recognized my talent. Okay, perfect. Very good. Perfect. Now uh, we are going to, what does it mean ages? ¿Qué quiere decir ages? What is the meaning of ages? Años. Ah, como hace bastante. Años. Mm -hmm. uh, ages como años, ¿verdad? Como mm -hmm. I have seen you in ages, como hace bastante tiempo. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Very good. And we are going to repeat some words. Let's see. Uh, okay, so we are going to repeat this one. Ages. Can you repeat it, please? Ages. 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 Exactly. Ages. Now we are going to repeat this one. Much. 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 Exactly. Now we are going to repeat this one. Morocco. 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 Exactly. Morocco. Now this one. Money. 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 Exactly. Now this one. Courses. 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 Perfect. Now this one. Auditions. 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 This this one A U is no out. It's O. O. Auditions. 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 Exactly. Auditions. Very good. Auditions. Auditions. And this one. Graduated. 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 It's a graduated. 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 And the last one is recognizes. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Very good. Now you know how to pronounce it. Perfect. Now we are going to continue. Uh, do you have any question about this? Yes. Yes. What is the meaning? La, la ley. Lately. 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 It's like recently. Recientemente. What have you been doing lately? Si alguien les pregunta, what have you been doing lately? Es recientemente, ¿verdad? Lately. Recently. Lately. Lately. Exactly. Lately. Okay, Another thank question? You. Okay, no more questions. Okay, now we are going to continue with... Well, this is the present perfect continuous. As you can see, they use the present perfect continuous. What have you been doing lately? Ya has estado haciendo ultimamente, ¿verdad? So we are talking about a very extended period of time or period, right? I've only spending money. That's another, um, another uh, sentence with present continuous, right? Present perfect continuous. I've been trying to become an actor. I've been taking courses. This is another one. How long have you been trying? Right? And those will be the ones that we can uh, check in the conversation. Esas son las oraciones que tienen el presente perfecto continuo. What do we use it for? The present perfect continuous tense is used to express that an action started in the past and continues up to the present. I've been working for this company since 2010. She's been doing exercise for the last six months. For example, Roxana, for how long have you been studying English? I have been studying, studying English uh, since uh, last two years. Since last two years, very good, okay. Rafael, uh, for how long have you been working in your job? Oh, repeat it again, please. For how long have you been working in your job? Well, I... Um, I... Um, I don't work in, I am employed. <laughs> You're an employee, okay. So you can say that with the present perfect continuous. I haven't been working lately. 
I haven't been working lately. I haven't been working lately. Yes, exactly. Because I don't have a job, right? So I haven't been working lately. Perfect. No problem. Let's see another one. Um, Alejandra, for how long have you been studying in this course? I've been studying for this course since Monday. Since Monday? So you're a new student. Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. So you can say that, yes. You can say, I've been studying in this course since Monday. That's okay. That's perfect. So um, this is the present perfect continuous. This is the structure. Esa es la fórmula, ¿verdad? Que vamos a utilizar para poder hacer las oraciones. Subject plus have or has, como ya saben, has cambia, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo cambia has? When does it change? When do we use has in a sentence? Tercera persona. Third person, very good. Thank you, Ana. He, she, right? So don't get confused. Then plus being, el verbo to be, pero en pasado participio, being, and the verb in ing, el verbo en ing y el complemento. Examples. I have been living in New Jersey since 2012. She has been taking these pills for years. Negative. Yes, we can use it in negative way. Subject plus have or has, not, plus been, verb in ing plus complement. I have not been going to college because of the pandemic. She has not been eating well since she moved alone. And these are contractions, right? I have, I've. So we pronounce I've or, or you've, right? This is the has construction. She's. This can be confused with the uh, verb to be, right? In present tense, but we don't have to confuse it. I have not, haven't, or has not, hasn't. And these are just no questions and WH questions. Let's see. Sobeida. <laughs> can you help me reading the question, please? Because we have the... the um, Subject or, or, or actually the formula here, right? Have, has, subject, being, verb, being, and complement. Can you read this, these three sentences, please? Okay. Have you been practiced your dancing? Have the kids been watching horror movies? Has she been taking on, online classes? We can hear you, teacher. Oh, sorry. So remember the pronunciation. Recuerden la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Para preguntas. Have you been practicing your dancing? Have the kids been watching horror movies? Has she been taking online classes? So remember, and the answers for just no question is yes, I have. No, I haven't. Or yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Or yes, they have. No, they haven't, right? Now we have WH questions. And the... Um, this is the formula, right? WH, have, has, subject, being, verb in ING, complement and question mark. Let's see. Tanya, can you help me read in these three sentences, please? Sure. Okay. Where have you been doing exercise? Mm -hmm. What has he been doing during this pandemic? How long has she been studying French? Very good. Perfect. Now answers. I've been doing exercise at home. He's been learning how to cook. She's been studying for a year. So WH questions, we provide more information, right? So we just need to practice. This is the, perfect, uh, the present perfect continuous explain in the platform. Eh, aquí están más ejemplos de los que ya um, hablamos anteriormente y para qué usamos el presente continuo, ¿verdad? A continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present and it emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. And this is the structure, the structure, la estructura que ya les enseñé. Aquí la volvemos a ver, ¿verdad? Para ver, uh, afirmaciones o oraciones 
eh, afirmativas y este es para el presente perfecto continuo y aquí está para preguntas. So it's the same that we have seen already. Now, um, before doing this exercise, do you have any question about the present perfect continuous? Preguntas? Alguna duda? Do you know where to use it? How to use it? No questions? Okay, remember that we use the present perfect continuous for actions that started in the past and they are still continuing in the present, right? For example, you're still studying English. So, so you have been studying English for two months or for one month, for one year, etc. right? Now we are going to complete the conversation with the present perfect continuous. And this is like a conversation. This is a question and this is the answer, right? What will be the answer for this one? What you do lately? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta para esa? What you do lately? What have you been doing lately? Perfect. What have you been doing lately? And the answer, well, I spend my free time at the beach. Well, I have, what else? I have? Spending. Spending. My free time, my free time at, the beach. at the beach. Perfect, let's see. What have you been doing lately? And we have here the answer. Well, I've been spending my free time at the beach. Next one, let's see someone who hasn't participated yet. Isaac Mungia, can you give me the question for number two? Okay. It says you work part-time this year. So how will be the, the question for this, for number two? What have you been? Mm -hmm. Working part time this year. What have you been working part time this year? Is that correct? Okay, now let's check the answer. It says yes, right? Yes, I have. O sea que es una yes, no question. How do you do the, the or how do you create the yes, no questions? First is have, how long? Right? How have. long? No, because the answer is yes, I have. Yes, I have or no, I haven't, right? La, pre, la respuesta have you, es yes, I have exactly. You. Have yes, you? Have you? Have you? What else? To be, been working. Exactly. Have you been working, working. part time this year? Yes, okay. I have. I, what else? Yes, I have. I have. Yes, I, yes, I have. I have been working. Make. Making exactly, making, making. I have been making sandwiches Richard. at the lunchtime lunch cafe time. for the past few months. Let's see, these are the answers. You see, have you been working part time this year? Yes, I have. I've been making sandwiches at the lunchtime cafe for the past few months. Number three, who wants to complete number three? Let's see. How you feel recently? How have you been? <laughs> okay, go ahead. No problem. How have how how have you you feeling? No, no. Have, how have 
you been feeling recently? Very good, perfect. How have you been feeling recently? You see, how have you been feeling recently? ¿Cómo te has sentido recientemente? And the answer, great. I, I have Gering. I have been. I have been getting. Exactly. Yeah. I've been getting a lot of sleep. He estado durmiendo mucho. And I not drink. And I have not been drinking drinking perfect mm -hmm. i have not okay. yeah it's kind of it's kind of long but once you practice it it's easy so and mm -hmm. i have not been drinking as much coffee since i stopped working at the coffee shop let's see it here great uh, i've been getting a lot of sleep and i haven't been drinking as much coffee as since i stopped working at the coffee shop you see it's here so perfect perfect no problem now the last one who wants to complete the, the last one? Numero cuatro. It says, you get enough exercise lately. What is the first part? It seems that it's a yes, no question, right? Have you? Mm -hmm. Is been getting? Very good. Have you? Been getting, getting enough, enough exercise, exercise lately. Have you Late. been getting enough exercise lately? No, I haven't. I study a lot for a big exam. No, I haven't. I've been studying a lot for a big a exam. Perfect. Now we can see here uh, the. Um, the answers have you been have you been getting enough exercise lately no i haven't i've been studying a lot for a big exam perfect now we are going to continue it says write a story about something that happened to you try to use the past continuous and the simple past also use the adverse to provide more information about your story so, ahora vamos a tratar de practicar el presente perfecto continuo. Now, we are going to write not a story, but something that you have been doing lately. Vamos a practicar algo que hemos hecho recientemente. And I want you to follow uh, this, this um, let's say, this structure, right? Vamos a tratar de conversar. We will try to have a conversation. Vamos a tratar de tener una conversación. Quiero que hagan una pregunta. Por ejemplo, what have you been doing lately? Or how have you been right, lately? How have you been doing? Y eso se lo van a preguntar a uno de sus compañeros. Y le van a decir eh, qué han estado haciendo recientemente. I have been working in in i don't know in a clinic i've been doing exercise i've been living or pueden hacer así como estas preguntas where have you been living uh these years i've been living in santa ana i've been living in san salvador i've been living in suchitoto right algo parecido a la oración que tenemos no vamos a repetir la oración o perdón la conversación porque ya la practicamos pero algo parecido Como por ejemplo, what have you been doing lately? Y quiero que contesten con su información. Or how long have you been doing this, right? How long have you been doing that? Like something like that. A small conversation. Quiero que hagan una pregunta, una respuesta. Una pregunta y una respuesta para que tengan una pequeña conversación. We are going to use our own vocabulary, okay? Vamos a utilizar nuestro propio vocabulario. We are not going to copy. We are not going to... If you don't know something, como se dice esto, como se dice lo otro, me lo pueden preguntar. I will give you just like two, three minutes and we are going to practice. So you can write how you, what have you been doing lately? How have you been feeling recently? 
right? Como vimos en la oración. Y aquí les voy a poner el, este, este es el, la estructura. This is the structure. So you can follow the, the order of the words. Okay, you have two more minutes to do this. Solo dos minutos más. Solo una pregunta y algo que han estado haciendo recientemente. Okay, one more minute, please. No, I guess uh, we still have, yes, one more minute. Un minuto más. Una pregunta y una respuesta. Okay, we almost finished, so prepare. Y casi terminamos con el tiempo, así que prepárense ya. Preparen su pregunta y preparen lo que van a decir cuando le pregunten. What have you been doing lately? Okay, are you ready? Ready? Or do you need one more minute? One minute more? Or stand list, just stand list or are you ready? Yes, right, no. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Okay, so we are going to have something similar to this, right, to this conversation, right? Hi, how are you? Sobeida, for example, right? Well, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing? And Sobeida will tell me, oh, I've been studying English. I've been working. Oh, and then Sobeida will ask me, right? And you, teacher, what have you been doing lately, teacher? And I will tell her, oh, I've been teaching classes at night. Okay, perfect. Nice to meet you, right? Nice to meet you. See you later. Bye. And that's it, right? Eso es todo. Now I need a volunteer, un voluntario que quiera comenzar. Volunteers? Voluntario? No one? I gave you time because so you can prepare, right? Alguien que quiera comenzar? Me, teacher. Okay, Roxana. Roxana, who do you want to practice this small conversation with? Um, I want to practice with Anna. With Anna. Okay, Anna, are you ready, Anna? <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. You can begin. Um, Anna, what have you been doing lately? Um, I have been working a lot of... <laughs> Really? Yes. Um, <laughs> what is what is your what is your job? Um I a teacher a quien necesito ayuda. Why? Uh-huh. Um como asesorar a las municipalidades para que elaboren planes. How do you say? <laughs> How do you say assessor? Just assessor. Advisor, okay. right? Advisor. Advice. I oh. am an advisor for communities, right? Okay. Okay. Go ahead. 
Say that information to Roxana. Okay, yes. I am. Uh, <laughs> I am <an> advisor. <laughs> where Where you work? I at is demo. I work at is demo. All right. This is an um organiz uh, is a government organization. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. What time um, um, since uh, uh, how long? Uh, how long? <laughs> you see, that's what I want. That's what I want to so use your pressure ideas que usan su lenguaje. Porque es bien fácil este, hacer una conversación que repetir. Pero en el momento que usted quiere hablar, ¿qué pasa? <risa> how, do you, how do you say asesor, right? Eso no me enseñaron en la clase, ¿verdad? So, that's what I want. So, I now finish the conversation. Quiero que termine la conversación, como, ay, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, ok. Oh, well, uh, your, your job is very exciting. Um, I, I wish you... Um, uh, no, uh, a success, success in your in your activities. Um, I I happy to see you and um, maybe um, can you can you explain more about your job? <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, very good. Clap for you. Clap for you. Very good. Very good. Now, uh, let's see. Anna, I want you to choose one of your classmates. Escoja a alguien para que participe. Alguno de sus compañeros. Alejandra. Alejandra. Alejandra, are you ready? Yes. Okay, Alejandra, choose who do you want to pr practice this conversation with? Mm. Sobeida. Okay, Sobeida. Are you ready, Sobeida? I don't know, teacher, but I try. <laughs> Okay, try. You see, it's very simple. How you've been doing this and how you've been doing. And that's it, right? Then you say goodbye. Okay, you can begin. Hi, Sobeida. Hi. What have you been? Yes. <laughs> okay. What have you been doing lately? I have working every week in, in the close month but my work is accounting. I am accounting. Oh, so do you like numbers? <laughs> yes, I like. And what about you? How have you been doing lately? Well, I've been working too at Banco Atlantida. So I oh, am really? very, very tired today. <laughs> Yes, because I have a lot of jobs. Oh, sorry. Yes. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, perfect, perfect. You see, it was really cool, really good. Okay, accounting, accounting. How do you say contadora or contador? Accountant, right? Accountant. And I've been Account working, both of you said that you've been working and I have a lot of work, right? I had a lot of work, but very good. Or I have a lot of job to do. Very good, perfect. Now, Sobeida, choose one person to participate. I guess probably this will be the last one. Okay, I think Soraya. Soraya. Yes. Soraya, are you there? Yes. Are, yes, you, prepar are you prepared? No, teacher. No, okay, no problem. Okay, just relax and try to try the best you can. Now choose one of your classmates. Let's go, Halgen. Okay, 
que no haya participado. ¿Quién? ¿Quién ha participado? Isaac. Uh, Isaac, Rafael, Tania. Isaac. Ale. Isaac, are you there, Isaac? Yes, teacher. <coughs> okay, so Soraya Hello, wants teacher. to wants to participate with you, okay? So Soraya, you can begin. Okay. okay. Isaac, what have you been doing? Lady. I have been painting my father's house. And you? I I'll be cooking our uh, afternoon. Okay. And, and cleaning house. Okay. Uh, ¿Cómo sería el resto de la semana? The rest of the week. The rest of the week. Of the week. Ok. Ok, that's it. Nice, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Ok, perfect. Very good. I've been, I've, I've been cooking this afternoon you can say that and i've been cleaning and the same for the rest of the week and we are okay. going to have the last one let's see uh, i want to listen to tanya and rafael you haven't been uh, you haven't participated yet right no han participado ustedes dos o ya participaron no chat Okay, perfect. Now you can practice. You will be the last couple and on Monday we will have more participation, okay? Okay, so a small conversation, please. Una conversación pequeña. Go ahead. Okay. Hello, good evening, Rafael. Hi, Tania, good evening. How are you today? I'm doing fine, thank you. I have many years to don't see you. Have have you been doing recently? Uh, well, uh, I, I have been in my, I have been um, how do you say, cuidando? Taking care of? Take care. Uh -huh. I have been taking care of my, my sons because I haven't been work, working and that's... Oh, that is interesting. How long, well, how old is your child? I'm sorry? Oh, how old is your son? Oh. Uh, my, my son has 13, my daughter uh, 10, and my baby daughter um, has two years. They are oh, three. That's nice, you have a big family. I I can hear you. Oh, you have a big family, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm so old. I'm glad to hear can that you hear you are me? together with your family. I'm glad to see you again. Take care. Okay. Thank you. And and what about you? Tell me. Well, are, you, are you single or married or I don't know? I have been single since the last year. Oh, nice, 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 nice. I enjoy it. 
your freedom. <laughs> of course, yeah. I'm enjoying. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Okay. okay. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. Now, uh, I haven't seen you in years. Like, I haven't seen you in many years, right? But it was okay. It was a very good conversation. And also, ages para las edades. En español es el tiene. Yo tengo uh, 30 años, yo tengo 15 años. Pero in English is, is, right? My son is 13 years old. My son has, no. My son is, the verb to be. But it was really good. Perfect, you did it very good. For the first time, vamos a tratar de hacer estos ejercicios para que ustedes utilicen su propio vocabulario. You use your own vocabulary. So uh, it was nice to see you today. I will send you the, the slides. Le vamos a enviar eso al grupo. Y I no sé si tienen alguna otra pregunta, another question. Do you have questions? No questions? No, teacher. No question, teacher. Okay, perfect. So I wish you a very good weekend. Descansen. Feliz fin de semana. Y gracias por su esfuerzo de la primera semana. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Happy Bye. weekend. Bye. Thank Happy you weekend. very much. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye.